You're listening to Catholic Sprouts, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey, Sprouts. I'm Clara from Holy Heroes. Holy Heroes is a Catholic company that strives to bring the joy of the faith to you and your family. Today is September 12th, 2022. This week, I'm going to talk to you guys about Carlo Acutis. You may have heard of him. He became a blessed in the Catholic Church in October 2020. But here's the crazy thing. While a lot of people become blessed in the Catholic Church, there aren't a lot of people who become a blessed when their parents, younger siblings, and friends are still alive and even get to be there at the beatification. Carlo Acutis was born in 1991. While most people know him as an Italian blessed, he was actually born in London. His parents were there working for a couple years, and Carlo was born and baptized in London before moving back to Milan, Italy, when he was just four months old. Before he even returned home to Milan, he had already said his first words, Papa and Mama, when he was just three and four months old. So he was a pretty early talker. The interesting thing is Carlo's parents weren't practicing Catholics when Carlo was born. It was important to them that Carlo was baptized in the Catholic Church, but Carlo's dad rarely went to Mass, and his mother never went to Mass. She said when Carlo was born, she really hadn't been back to church since her wedding. Even though Carlo's parents weren't practicing Catholics and didn't really talk to Carlo about his faith, He had a nanny when he was a little boy named Beta. Now, this nanny loved Pope John Paul II and would talk to Carlo all about the Polish Pope that she loved so much. And this inspired Carlo to not only also love Pope John Paul II, but to start asking questions about God and why Pope John Paul II loved him so much. His parents were pretty surprised when he started asking him these questions. And they were even more surprised when they would go for walks through Milan and Carlo would stop at every church and ask to go inside. Even though his mom and dad were surprised, they thought it was really sweet. So they would take little Carlo into the church. They were shocked when he would start to go up to statues of our Lord and kiss the feet of the statues. Then as he walked through Milan, he would also start bringing flowers, walking into churches to leave them at statues of Our Lady. Before he was even four years old, Carlo was asking some pretty deep theological questions about God, about the purpose of his life, and what he needed to be doing every day to get to heaven. His parents didn't really know how to answer these questions, and his mother was so taken aback by them that she went to talk to her friend. Now, she asked her friend because she knew this friend was a practicing Catholic, and her friend said, well, you should go talk to a priest. When Carlo's mom approached the priest, the priest told her, well, you need to take a theology class to start answering some of these questions. While Carlo's mom originally took the class just to answer her little four-year-old's questions, she was so struck by what she learned that she continued to take theology classes for the next 12 years. Now, there's a lot more I can say about Carlo, but I'm not going to be able to say all of it today. So we're going to come back tomorrow to talk about what Carlo did during his years in school and what that was like. But before you think that all Carlo did was talk about God or want to go into churches, know that while he loved doing both those things and he encouraged his friends around him to do them too, he also did a lot of things that most other little boys were doing too. Like he loved to spend time with his pets. He had a lot more pets than I think most of you probably do. He had four dogs, two cats, and a little red goldfish. We'll talk more about them this week, too. See you tomorrow. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow. But until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Holy Heroes is my family's business. We help you bring the joy of the faith to your family through saint stories, books, games, and so much more. If you enjoyed hearing about Blessed Carlo, 
Click the link in the show notes to get the free Holy Heroes four-page coloring download about Blessed Carlo. You can also go to holyheroes.com slash Carlo to learn more about our Blessed Carlo book, glory story, audio drama, prayer card, and more. And remember, our online adventures throughout the year are free. Check out holyheroes.com to learn more. Thanks for listening. This show is a production of the Spoke Street Media Podcast Network. For more great podcasts, visit spokestreet.com.